Nicholas Chamberlain is in Bedworth, which is in North Warwickshire. We are part of the Griffin Schools Trust. One of the principles of the Griffin Schools Trust is to empower uh, female students, uh, so therefore to recruit as many females as possible into computer science has been an aim. We, we were an ICT department and we had a pretty much a 50-50 gender balance, give or take. We took on the GCSE in computer science and we saw a massive drop. We found that a lot of um, students, particularly girls, want to go into caring professions and they didn't see how computer science really fit in with that. Um, and we've done quite a bit of work to show them how obviously computer science does fit into almost any job and how it is applicable in those caring industries. This year we entered the Cyber First Girls competition. Um, it was the first year we've done it and it was a massive success. I think it really has contributed to our success this year in recruiting females onto the GCSE computer science course. And they were so enthusiastic. I couldn't get them out of my room in their, their breaks, their lunches after school. And they were going home, coming next day and showing me their progress. Natalie is a real role model for those students and she wants the girls that study computer science to have the same passion for the subject as she does. Girls feel empowered and we're just really proud that next year we will have this great this great balance again of girls and boys who are really excited to take GCSE computer science. Going into year nine next year we'll have two classes of computer science and one class of creative eye media. I chose to study computer science because like computer science is like a growing industry currently so it's likely to help in the future. One of the OCR resources that's been really useful to us is the coding challenges. Um, it's a booklet of challenges provided to you by OCR um, with varying difficulties and they're really useful for our students. I've always enjoyed coding because you can see how things work and you can be creative in your own way. Most jobs nowadays because the generation we live in use computers or some form of technology so I think it's quite important that you know how they work. I've liked doing the practical side of it, like coding and stuff, because I feel like that's what would help me in my future. Being a non-specialist, um, it's scary. It was scary at first. You know, I was really secure in, in delivering ICT and then had to take on a, a whole new remit. I regularly use a Facebook group for GCSE Computer Science. It has been a massive help. There are so many people on there just like me. Everyone is willing to share resources, ideas. People are really supportive with each other. OCR have subject advisors, which are worth their weight in gold, and that support has really been invaluable this year. I think computer science is really unique in the fact that actually it allows students to bring together lots of different skills, so science, mathematics and their creativity as well. So it's essential for us that that's part of our curriculum. We did um, algorithmic thinking which helps us in everyday life. It lets us look at situations in a less complicated way. Those skills that we're teaching students apply to every aspect of their life and they're helping them be more resilient, independent learners um, and persevering and not giving up on problems and that is going to help them wherever they go in the future. I think the exam papers are um, accessible. There are questions that suit all abilities and it allows for those students who have maybe predicted lower grades to still achieve and for those who need a bit of stretch and challenge those questions are also on the paper. We've got a first set of fantastic results in computer science this summer.